Hey everybody, Mike here, also known as Rolling Picker. I'm pretty sure everybody's tried to wonder where I've been and what's been going on with me. I've been missing in action. So James convinced me that I should do a uh, short video on what's been happening with me in the past uh, 60 days and what's going to be happening in the future and what's going to be happening with my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with addressing first because I know everybody's going to send me an email what's up with the threads okay yeah it's a hospital gown it was given to me by Merce, uh, Methodist Hospital I had to take two trips to the ER since I've been back um, and when I say back I'm back with my daughter and James and my granddaughter Lily I'm back home in Texas uh, but let's get to the meat of it what's happened uh, was back in May I took three spills in the bathroom at Mama Chelly's house uh, the first one wasn't too bad uh, paramedics came put me up in the wheelchair and I was able to Transfer myself from the wheelchair to the bed and go to the bathroom and do all the normal stuff that I've always been doing the uh, Second spill was a little more severe um, I was getting up off the John and I lost my legs no notice They went out from under me and I fell backwards this time and I smacked my head and my lower and my head and my back and my shoulders against the wall in the bathtub and I was laying on the floor and I couldn't feel my legs. So the paramedics came, longboarded me out of the bathroom, got me to Sutter Medical Center. And while I was there for seven hours, they did uh, some scans and MRIs and some other stuff. And the doctor couldn't see any damage, no fractures or anything. So he's decided that it was the uh, PLS that I have, primary lateral sclerosis. Uh, it's the PLS that's advancing. So lucky for me, the PLS is it's not fatal, it's, dis it's very disabling. It can be down in the future, and very crippling, but it's not fatal, so that's what I had to look forward to with that. The third fall was same place, bathroom in Mama Chelly's. I fell forward again on my knees, paramedics came, picked me up, same routine, put me in a wheelchair, and I was able to hop back and forth from the bed and all that, but uh, something had happened on that fall, and uh, I had a hard time sitting up in bed and uh, they had to come and get me off the porta potty. Hey, we all have things happen to us in our life. And uh, everything just went downhill from there. Uh, it was hard for Mama Chelly to take care of me. So Angie said she was going to come out with, who's going to be my caregiver, Nicole. Very sweet woman, professional. Um, she does this for a living, uh, for during the day when Angie's at work. And, and Lily came out to, to bring me back to Texas. And the bad part is, because Mama Chelly had such a hard time taking care of me. Now, the only reason I'm telling you guys all this stuff is I'm not doing this for pity. I'm not doing this as, uh, you know, oh, woe is Mike. I'm doing this to share this with those that are disabled, or even if you're not disabled, learn from the mistakes that I made so you don't end up almost killing yourself like I did. Um, it was tough on Mama Chelly to take care of me, to lift me up, to help me go to the bathroom and all. And I decided to just go on a fast. And I thought I would just do a two-week fast. But it got so hard on her. She's 85. I ended up doing over a 30-day a 30 day fast. Uh, all liquid. No, no solids. And it almost killed me. When I got back to Texas, um, I was severely thin. When I came back to Texas, they started introducing soft foods. And that's when all hell broke loose. Um, and I'm about to share with you guys, I wish none of this ever to happen to anyone. And that's why I'm telling you, if you're going to fast, don't do a fast unless you've got the care of a doctor to monitor you. Don't do anything on your own. Don't have to be macho or I'm Wonder Woman. You know, it's okay to have a doctor. If you're going to do it, do it under supervision of a doctor. I didn't. So what happened was, as the food was being introduced, um, my bowels didn't know how to work. They stopped working. There was nothing to ever move anything. And... Uh, the Monday after uh, we got home, it was a week later, um, I couldn't pee. And my bladder was expanding and my stomach was, the lower part of my stomach was starting to get rock hard and it was moving up. And I got concerned, we called the ambulance, they got me to the, to the hospital. I was the only man in there screaming for a catheter. So they put one in, they pulled out a liter and a half of urine out of me. And after the x-rays, the doctor, she determined that I was impacted. My lower bowel was impacted with food 
than a digestive, but because the bowels didn't know how to work anymore because I was an idiot, thinking I was helping Mama Chelly, I was actually hurting myself even more. Um, they had to do something or I was gonna become septic. And that is another thing in its own, it can kill you. So I almost killed myself. So what they did was they had to do, me, do it manually for lack of a better term and get me cleaned out. And then I was on Marillax for four doses a day, uh, every six hours, 17 uh, grams of fiber a day for two days to try to get everything else to move to open up. Because the doctor thought that the PLS might be affecting the digestive tract. Fortunately, and lucky for me, it's not. I'm back to normal. Um, I did get a urinary tract infection, had to go back. You know, it's just these issues. So what I'm telling you all is, I appreciate the prayers that helped me. I appreciate the concern, the emails that Angie was getting, the messages I was getting. You know, I appreciate it. You guys are wonderful people. But believe me when I tell you, don't get stupid. Don't do more than a, a, a two, three day fast. If you're gonna do something like that, get a doctor to supervise you because you don't wanna end up what would happen to me. So I'm starting to gain a little bit of weight. I still have no use of my legs. And she has to pick me up to put me in bed, pick me up to put me in the wheelchair, pick me up to put me in the recliner, pick me up to put me in the freaking car. But you know what? I learned one thing though during that fast, that God, given me the ability as well actually God has shown me that I can tr I can trust him I know he has a plan and that's the other part I want to talk about in this video my videos are going to change James and I are going to vlog my I'm going to do a vlog where we're going to vlog my journey with the VA I'm going to use the VA instead of the local hospital because they can help me with a lot of other things that Medicare and TRICARE won't cover so we're going to chronologically try to get all that done and bring that up they're going to be short videos to let you guys know what my journey is with the va in case you're some of you vets have are worried about using the va maybe there's something i'm learning that i can share with you that maybe you can talk to them and say hey you know this is happening to this guy in texas and this is what they're doing for him how come i can't get the same thing you know don't be afraid to reach out and ask for for help from the va or from any hospital or from anybody and uh, along with that, we're gonna still do the selling. I'm just not selling on eBay anymore. I'm over at Poshmark and I'm over at buyerschoiceauctions.com selling there. And James and I are gonna be doing local. So you might see me um, in the pickup truck and we're hauling off that Bowflex that I bought six years ago or nine years ago that turned into a coat rack because I can't use it and watch us make a transaction. So we're gonna kind of kick it all up. So, and the channel is gonna be it's for every, my channel's for everybody, and but if you don't want to hear about the blog, I'm sorry. If you don't want to hear about me constantly referencing God and Jesus Christ and what they're doing in my life and how they've kept me alive and kept me going and given me hope, if you don't want to hear any of that stuff, you don't want to hear anything about politics that I might blurt out for no apparent reason, then I suggest you you can either un unsub or click the notification bell off so you don't get any notices because this is my channel and after what I've gone through I'm gonna do what I want so don't mean to sound mean coming off across but I've had a lot of time to think when you get close to knocking on heaven's door when you get that close you think about a lot of things and you think about people you think about those friends that you've got and what they mean to you and what your family means to you and just the breath that you take every morning you wake up and how you cherish it and you thank the good Lord, I thank the good Lord every day that he has me at least being able to sit up, even if it's for three hours a day before my back is screaming, my legs and everything else in my body goes numb, numb, numb. You know, this, this is my channel, this is how it's gonna be. And again, I wanna thank everybody that sent me the well wishes. Um, there'll be more to come and uh, I hope that my journey will, will help others and uh, you know, all I can say is I, I hope that God blesses you all with much success, great health, great family life, great kids, great everything, man. You all deserve a double portion, and I'm asking God for that. So we'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Hopefully it'll be the vlog, and we'll see you then.
rolling picker out.